Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look at a whole bunch of fun stuff, by which I mean the release schedule for the Pokemon trading card game. Since we last talked about this, a bunch of stuff has gone and been revealed. You need to know about all of it. You need to know what's coming up, what's worth getting, what's worth getting excited about, and what's worth skipping. And that is very much where I come in. So with Temporal Forces now out... As you're watching this, that set should be out. It should be released. We're not worried about Temporal Forces. We turn our eyes towards April the 5th and the Iono Premium Tournament Collection. This is the next big thing that is coming. And frankly, this is worth getting very, very excited about. This is the kind of product that a lot of people are going to pick up. A lot of people are going to love. And then in about a year's time, maybe less... People are going to turn around and go, oh, yeah, I know, that, whatever happened to that? Oh, I should have picked that up at the time. Oh, you can't find it anywhere. This is going to be very, very popular. Of course, it is a premium tournament collection, the likes of which we've seen before. And we've seen a Marnie one that was very popular. I expect Iono to be very much on that level. So you do get yourself a whole bunch of booster packs, as one might expect. But then you also get a bunch of other incredibly cool things as well. So you get yourself the dice, which are fine. But then you get yourself the Iono sleeves, which are very nice. The coin, which is kind of beautiful. But then, of course, the big things. And that is you've got an, well, an exclusive full art promo, which can only be found in here. Which is awesome. And as if that's not enough, you also get three other INO promos, which, which are, to be fair, straight reprints of INO, but they've got a little stamp on, which is INO's logo, which is wonderful. I love this. Oh, six packs, if anybody's wondering. This is awesome. This is brilliant. I hope you've all pre ordered this because this is a very, very cool product. I haven't shown you the deck box that comes with it yet. Here's the deck box. Yay, this is going to be a very, very nice product that a lot of people are very excited about. You have been warned. On the same day, but if I may be so bold as to suggest, slightly less exciting, the Graphii EX box. Now, I personally am quite a big fan of the Graphii EX box. I think it's awesome. Because it's got an exclusive, or two exclusive cards actually. Both the Graphii EX and the Shrudel were Koro Koro comic promos over in Japan. So neither of those are available in packs. A lot of the time the extra, the non EX card you get here is a regular card that they've gone and made all shiny. But this time round they've actually gone for, well because there is this pair of promos in Japan. They are both full-on exclusive promos. And then you get your Jumbo Graphii and four packs as well. If you want Graphii EX, this is the only place to get it. You have been warned. So that's the 5th of April, which is a pretty nice date. But then if we flick forward to the 19th of April, two weeks later, we've got the Armor Rouge EX Premium Collection. And this is another cool thing. And look, we, we know we had a Charizard one of these not that long ago, okay? This is not that, obviously. That doesn't mean it's not a very cool product. What you get here is a bunch of booster packs, as you might expect. Uh, if you want to be pedantic here, it's six. You get yourself a set of sleeves featuring Armor Rouge and Cerulege, which is pretty cool. And then you get yourself free promos, one of which is Armor Rouge EX. And you'll notice I'm showing it to you here in a lovely little card stand, because that card stand also comes in the Armor Rouge EX Premium Collection. Yes, this is a reprint of the one we've already had. This is the same Armor Rouge EX which is already out, but it is an alternate art. So even though it's a full art, it's not the same full art we got in a set. It is a second different full art. I'll let you decide how much you want that. We then have promos of Cerulege and Charcadet just to complete the set. You only get one frame, but they showed off all three of the cards in the frame. Hence why I'm showing you them all in the frame. But just to be clear, there is only one frame you actually get in the box. So you get the frame, the three promos, the sleeves, and a bunch of packs. Sounds good to me, frankly. Sounds good to me. And also, on April the 19th, 
we've got the God of War EX League Battle Deck. Now, I've been telling you guys, well, ever since League Battle Decks were a thing, ever since they came out, I've been telling you that these are awesome. And they're still awesome. It, it's basically a whole God of War deck. And it's got free God of War EX. It's got a Mew EX. It's got a Radiant Grid Ninja. It's got a Luminian V. This is designed as a post-rotation God of War deck that is tournament ready. Realistically, as we've seen from these League Battle decks in the past, you're going to have to change a few cards out here and there to actually make it into a tournament winning deck. But this is a great, great product because it is literally going to give you a good functional Guard of War EX deck. You make a few changes and boom, you've got a legit tournament ready deck for like a $30 product. It's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. This is one of the greatest things Pokemon have done is come up with this kind of product. I love it and I hope they carry on forever. Seriously, this is extremely cool. Something else that is extremely cool, on the... We're actually skipping forward a few weeks now to May the 24th. That is over a month. And we get the Paradox Clash Tins. There is a bit of a gap coming in there. I'll be honest with you. But Pokemon generally tend to announce the products in the order in which they're released. So, you know, all the products released on the 19th of April, for instance, get revealed on the same day. So I'm not expecting any other products to be bumped up here. And to be added in, I do believe this is essentially what we are getting. Cool. Or not. I don't know. Up to you guys. But I do like these Paradox Clash tins. There are two different versions of them. One featuring Walking Wake and one featuring Iron Leaves. Although I suppose I should tell you that although there are two versions, one Walking Wake and one Iron Leaves... Of course, we've got the usual thing here, whereby there are actually both portrait and landscape versions of them. So, traditionally, the landscape that have five packs in have been for North America, and the portrait with four packs in have been for Europe. But as I've told you a few times recently, that is a lot less strict than it used to be. And these are reprints of the cards that came around in Temporal Forces as in just released in Temporal Forces, but they are, like a lot of the products we're seeing here, alternate art. Good cards, playable cards, alternate art. Walking Wake goes through anything that would be blocking with the defending Pokemon, and Iron Leaves gets to bench and then immediately grab a bunch of energy from your other Pokemon, jump in the active, good Charizard counter, incidentally. So yeah, cool tins, bunch of packs. Alternate arts, and the alternate art is important. Straight reprints, way less exciting. This is, frankly, a lot of fun. But also on May the 24th, and also looking like a lot of fun, we've got the new set, Twilight Masquerade. Although, the usual deal, when I say the set releases on the 24th, it does. That's when your booster packs, booster boxes, and the other products I'm about to tell you about will be released. But obviously, the two weekends before release are when we're actually going to see the pre-releases happening. So, with the 24th of May being the actual release, that means a pre-release weekend and a weekend of the 11th and 18th of May. They are the Saturdays of those weekends. And that's where you can get your build and battle box with your promo and your cards to make a deck and your four packs. That is all that's going to be out those two weekends. Some card games, you can buy booster boxes on pre-release. Not the case with Pokemon. And these Build and Battle Boxes will then also be sold as their own products when the set actually releases on the 24th. So, yeah, I did say we had like over a month between this and what came before it. But of course, two of those weekends we do have pre-releases. And then the product lineup here is like we would expect. You've got, like I said, your booster packs and booster boxes. You've got your build and battle kits, which is rather lovely. You've got your booster bundle, which is six packs for the price of six packs. For special sets where you cannot buy booster boxes, this is brilliant. For regular sets where you can just go and buy packs or boxes separately, six packs for the price of six packs becomes a bit less exciting. We've got the Elite Trainer Box, both the regular and the Pokemon Center exclusive, that come with all the usual things you might expect, sleeves, dice, and so on. Only one version here. Whereas, you know, we had a past and a future in the past couple of sets here. There's just one version of it. And it is Ogapon. There is the Pokemon Center exclusive, which for $10 more gets you two extra packs and a second promo that is stamped Pokemon Center. We've not seen the promo yet. 
But we know it's going to be an illustration rare version of Teal Mask Ogre Pond, almost certainly the one I've just put up on the screen. So yay! Pre-order the Pokemon Center exclusive when you can, because we know these are going to sell out. They always do. That's a thing. We then have three packed blister promos featuring Revavroom and Snorlax. Neither of these are alternate art, incidentally. They are both exclusive cards that cannot be gotten anywhere else. And it makes me really sad that I love Snorlax and I'm definitely going to buy it. But this Snorlax is a terrible card. It is a truly terrible card. But it's also an adorable Snorlax sitting having his lunch. I assume it's lunch. And I'm going to buy it for that reason. The one pack blister promos feature Pubitar and Toxel. Again, these were gym promos in Japan. So they are exclusive cards, not alternate art. And the only place they can be found is here. And then we've also got the check lane blisters, which feature Porygon Z and Kingdra. And it's the usual deal with these. You get a full evolution line and you get yourself a booster pack and then a coin. And essentially here, you... You don't really need to buy these if you want to keep them sealed or you desperately want the evolution line. Now, sometimes these do come through with a different hollow pattern. And if that's the case, then they kind of become exclusive cards and they're really awesome. But not every set does. So, yeah. <laughs> these could get a lot more or a lot less interesting. Love that Porygon Z gets a check lane blister. But the fact that it's just three regular cards and a regular booster pack does put me off a little bit. And there we go. That's what you need to know. That's everything that has been revealed that is coming out for the Pokemon TCG. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me which of these products you're excited about. Tell me what you're going to be picking up. Tell me what you're going to be skipping. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Stegoraptor, who is a very lovely person. So, and I know that, they've, they've had me out of a couple of things. They are absolutely lovely. So shout out to them for the support and being a generally lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.